Dan Walker, 46, took to Instagram earlier today to share with his fans that he had plucked up the courage to get back on his bike after his horror accident. The Channel 5 star shared a picture of himself riding an orange bike while wearing a helmet and looking upbeat. In the caption, the presenter admitted in view of his 285,000 followers that he felt safe despite having suffered such a big scare not long ago. He wrote, got back on the bike for the first time today and felt safe and secure with no flashbacks. New bike, new helmet. Just disappointed I didn't manage to match the socks to the frame. Dan received an outpouring of support from concerned fans who encouraged him to stay safe. RJ87 Coulson said, Well done mate, great to see the accident hasn't kept you off the bike. Stay safe. Little1957 chimed in, Well done Dan 20 upwards and upwards. Rachel Hannum penned, Well done Dan. Good for you. Great admiration for you. Stay safe. Dan also took to his Instagram story to share a throwback picture of his bloodied face in the aftermath of his accident. He used the snap to respond to a fan who had asked through the app's Q&A feature how he was feeling. Dan admitted, still a bit sore but, above everything else, very thankful. Last month, Dan spoke out on the backlash he has received since his accident, with the Channel 5 News presenter explaining his reasoning for cycling across a busy roundabout. The former BBC Breakfast star had been met with criticism as to why he did not use the nearby cycle lane, which would have directed him to a subway. Don't miss. Jeremy Clarkson slams Tory BBC debate after Kate and Will's poster row. Latest Denise Van Outen opens up about strange relationship with ex husband. Inside Elton John joins growing list of celebs to snub Harry and Meghan. News Dan has since spoken out on the claims and shared why he opted against using the subway, as he published a column with the Sunday Times explaining how he was doing a following the accident. Dan used the column to explain himself, as he wrote, One of the pertinent questions I have been asked this week is, why didn't I use the subway under the notoriously busy Sheffield roundabout that morning? The last two times I ventured down it was covered in shattered glass from the night before and, when you try to use it at that time of the morning, you will often find the cycle lane packed with pedestrians on their way to work. One of those who spoke out against the former Strictly star was Hugh Bladen, from the Alliance of British Drivers. He told the Mail Online of the incident, neither Walker nor the driver is blameless. Walker should have used the safer route provided for him as a cyclist, why do cyclists not use the facilities provided for them? And he is a cloth for wearing dark clothing. Cyclists should make sure they are clearly visible at all times. The driver appears to be starting to move to his left, presumably in preparation for taking the next exit. With signs everywhere, other traffic to consider and maybe trying to find his way, it is a simple mistake to Ms. Walker, possibly hidden by the A-pillar. If I were cycling I would not venture onto that roundabout.